Sony's rumored FX8 has quickly become one of the most talked about cinema gear leaks of 2025, and the excitement behind it is easy to understand. If the information circulating online is accurate, Sony may be preparing a cinema camera that pushes resolution and shooting flexibility far beyond what we've seen from their compact cinema line so far. The FX8 appears to represent a shift, one where Sony leans heavily into extremely high-resolution capture and multi-format versatility rather than stuffing every advanced codec and internal RAW feature into the body. The idea is to prioritize pure imaging potential over all-in-one convenience. The centerpiece of this rumor cycle is the sensor. Multiple leaks suggest the FX8 will be built around a full-frame image sensor offering roughly 96 megapixels, categorized as a 12K class sensor. That alone places it in a completely different league compared to Sony's existing cinema lineup. The FX6 is built for speed and flexibility, the FX9 prioritizes color, rolling shutter performance, and dynamic range, but none of them approach anywhere near 12K capture. This rumored sensor signals a dramatic jump in resolution, dynamic range potential through oversampling, and future-proofing for productions that increasingly expect ultra-high resolution masters. Based on leaked information, Sony seems ready to embrace a dual-format design. The FX8 reportedly offers full-frame and Super 35 shooting modes, giving cinematographers creative flexibility without being locked into a single aesthetic. What makes this interesting is how Sony may be choosing to handle recording options. Instead of loading the body with internal RAW formats or Sony's XOCN codecs, the camera is expected to stick to Sony's ZAF family for internal capture. That means internal 8K30 and 4K60 recording appear likely, but the highest bit depth and highest frame rate RAW recording would require an external device. This matches multiple early reports that the FX8 will offer 16-bit RAW output over SDI at select frame rates and crop modes. One of the most repeated leaks claims that the camera would support 3.8K RAW externally at up to 120fps for slow motion, something that immediately grabs the attention of filmmakers focused on high-end finishing or VFX. Taken together, these clues paint a portrait of a camera that invests heavily in extreme sensor performance but delegates the heaviest recording tasks to external recorders. It's a different philosophy than the everything-inside-the-body approach seen from some competitors. To understand the FX8's possible position in the market, it helps to look at each competing direction in cinema camera design. The clearest contrast is with Canon's EOS C50, which is aimed at filmmakers who want strong internal recording options in a small and accessible body. Canon C50 reportedly revolves around a 32-megapixel full-frame sensor, but instead of pushing resolution to extremes, Canon designed the camera to deliver robust internal formats. Internal 7K RAW at up to 60p, Canon's excellent cinema RAW light, 4K 120 slow motion, and dual pixel AF2 create a package that is self-contained and production ready right out of the box. For teams that want to minimize external accessories and keep rigs lightweight, the C50 becomes an appealing tool. The FX8, based on leaks, takes almost the opposite approach. Instead of focusing on internal RAW convenience, it raises the ceiling on resolution and gives filmmakers enormous room for reframing, stabilization, and downsampling. A 12K sensor downsampled to 8K or even 4K could offer significantly cleaner images, reduced noise, and superb detail retention. The trade-off is workflow complexity, large files, high demand processing, and the dependency on external RAW for the most demanding formats. For films with dedicated data managers, VFX pipelines, or productions that already rely on external recorders, these trade-offs may be minor compared to the creative freedom that 12K offers. Another interesting comparison emerges with Fujifilm's growing presence in cinema. Fujifilm's GFX-based cinema bodies, like the GFX Eterna 55, represent a completely different kind of filmmaking experience. Rather than chasing extreme resolution, Fujifilm leans into the distinctive look of medium format, larger sensors, unique depth rendering, wide tonal gradients, and color science inspired by Fujifilm's long legacy in film simulation. Fujifilm cinema approach emphasizes image feel and in-body capability, offering strong internal codecs and an aesthetic that resonates with cinematographers who value medium format for narrative work. When placed against Fujifilm cinema direction, the FX8 appears to target a separate mindset. The FX8's rumored 12K full-frame sensor may surpass medium-format bodies in raw resolution and downsampling quality, but it will not produce the same medium-format character. What the FX8 provides is density, an image with enormous post-production flexibility that maintains compatibility with the extensive and more accessible full-frame E-mount lens ecosystem. 
Instead of doubling down on color feel, Sony seems poised to offer maximum data for flexible finishing. Then there's Nikon's recent dramatic move into the cinema space. The Nikon ZR, built in collaboration with RED, has turned heads quickly. Nikon and RED's alliance allows them to deliver a small cinema camera that records RED RAW directly in body. Because it uses a 24 to 25 megapixel stacked full-frame sensor, the ZR focuses on speed, dynamic range, and efficient RAW workflows rather than jaw-dropping resolution numbers. Nikon's path caters to creators who want RAW recording built into the camera, who desire the RED ecosystem benefits, and who prefer a compact tool optimized for filmmaking rather than a do-everything hybrid. This comparison clarifies the FX8's rumored position, Sony may be targeting cinematographers who care more about oversampling, reframing power, VFX-friendly data, and long-term resolution future-proofing than strict internal RAW convenience. Nikon and RED are optimizing for internal RAW and simplified pipelines. Canon offers a balanced all-in-one RAW solution. Fujifilm provides a medium-format look. Sony, if the rumors are true, seems prepared to deliver ultimate resolution for productions comfortable with external devices and heavy data organization. What becomes clear from these comparisons is that the cinema camera industry is splitting into two directions, compact, all-in-one RAW cameras versus ultra-high resolution bodies designed to work in tandem with external gear. The FX8 fits into the second category. And that means it will speak most directly to filmmakers who want maximum resolution flexibility, to punch in, crop, stabilize, or even recompose shots in post without sacrificing clarity. Of course, extreme resolution brings challenges. High megapixel sensors demand fast readout to avoid rolling shutter artifacts. They produce enormous data streams that generate more heat. They also require extremely efficient processors to handle oversampling from 12K down to usable formats like 8K, 6K, or 4K. The rumored reliance on external RAW recording suggests Sony is making a trade-off, offering a monster sensor but avoiding the heat and processing overhead required for internal 12K RAW. Instead, the FX8 may rely on the camera's external recording ecosystem for the toughest tasks. From a practical perspective, the FX8's potential strengths become clear the moment you imagine real-world use. Downsampled 4K from a 12K image would likely be stunning. Cinematographers working on documentaries, commercial work, or high-end film projects could extract multiple shots from a single frame, crop to vertical formats without resolution loss, and stabilize aggressively without degrading image quality. Productions that require green screen or heavy VFX will also benefit, as higher resolution capture offers more detail for compositing and tracking. But the weaknesses must be acknowledged too. External recorders add weight, bulk, and rig complexity. Data management becomes more intense. Storage costs climb. And operators working solo or run and gun may find cameras like the Canon C50 or Nikon ZR much easier to work with since those bodies provide internal raw and simplified workflows. Until Sony officially confirms the FX8, all of this remains grounded in leaks and industry reporting. But even as an unannounced camera, the FX8 represents a clear philosophy within modern cinema camera design. When in doubt, push resolution higher, provide professional external output paths, and let production teams build the workflow they need around the camera's imaging power.